mobile games are a lot like me when I was in school. Not even trying. Mobile games are some of the cheapest, laziest schlock that has ever come to exist. Sure, there's the occasional Angry Birds or Cut the Rope, something quick and easy to play for two minutes. But the mobile game market is so overrun with trash that the government is feeling jealous. And sometimes people are so creatively bankrupt that they'll just make bootleg games of our favorite video game characters and hope that kids are stupid enough to not know the difference. So today's video is gonna be focusing on Mario bootlegs, the most famous video game character of all time. Sorry, Galaga ship. So bust out your phones and get ready to give them a virus. First game on our illustrious list is Era's Adventure. Now, I'll agree that I'm pretty stupid, but that does not look like an era to me. Oh, that's just uncalled for. All right, well, whatever. I'm just rolling with it. Once upon a time, Era was walking in the forest when she was trapped. Oh, no. And she found herself locked in a weird place. All right, where she magically got out of the cage somehow, and the only, keyword only escape is to find hidden keys opening the door. Oh, no. Oh, no! Nobody needed this in their life. So this is Era, and we're on her adventure to escape this forest. Now, unless you live under a rock, Era is clearly Yoshi. One with horrifying eyes and walk cycle I've only seen my shadow demons have chasing me in my nightmares. This was made by some company named Andev, which if my lazy five second Google search is to believe, is some Colorado Android company. So great! We can't even blame Russia for this. Thanks Colorado and your stupid snow mountains. This game is pretty terrible as you'd expect. It's a kinda platformer with kinda exploration elements. Yoshi doesn't belong in this drab, lifeless setting. There's a reason every Yoshi game ever involves a metric heck ton of colors. Although, to be fair, this is like the only 3D Yoshi game to exist, so Nintendo won and Dev won. Yoshi can also spit fiery mucus because the game isn't disgusting enough. Holy mackerel! Era's Adventure released in late February 2013, and only two weeks later, Nintendo took swift legal action taking it down. Someone by the name of Botan Kopax, great name, was largely involved with the development of this game, stating he wasn't even a fan of Mario, and he had no idea who Yoshi even was. Being quoted with saying, Actually, this is an indie game developed by one developer, so due to the limitation of F Efforts, I purchased a cute character from Turbo Squid, one of the biggest 3D asset stores, without knowing the background story of the character, Yoshi. Since I'm not a Super Mario fan, once the game was released on the Play Store, after spending hundreds of hours making the game, I started receiving kind mails from Super Mario fans that I stole Yoshi, etc. So I started googling, and I realized that the character is really from the Super Mario series. Wow. You're full of sh Listen, my grandma who doesn't even know how to turn on a computer knows who Yoshi is! And if you're a quote-unquote game developer, you've never heard of Mario? And lastly, you said you spent hundreds of hours making this game? This was the result of hundreds of hours? Sorry, not buying it. Just like how I didn't buy your game. I stole it. Things just ain't the same for gangsters. Time Take your mind back to the strange time of 2019. Super Mario Maker 2 hit the scene and it was a game. And if you were watching any YouTube video and got an ad, a keen eye might notice something. What the hell is this? Super Mario Maker Mobile? I can get Mario Maker on my iPhone while still maintaining graphics that are on the Switch? Count me in! And by that I mean, count me stupid! Who would fall for this? These were real ads that would play before videos. They're so generic and terrible. Fun game! Please play Mario Real. There were, I think, three or four different ads that you could find, all of which having something wrong or weird about them. Why is the phone vertical? 
Why is Mario vibing in front of the Link's Awakening Island? Why did YouTube allow this? Earlier I said, what kind of idiot would fall for this? That was pretty harsh, because it's so clear who this was intended for. Kids. Kids using their parents' phone, clicking the ad, downloading the game, and boom, infected. So to be clear, no, you can't download Mario Maker onto your phone. Or can you? Because there is apparently a Mario Maker mobile game. Just one that's not made by Nintendo. Super Ultimaker, which is kind of a cool name. It's pretty basic, only utilizing 16-bit graphics, which I'm all for. It keeps the game looking pretty and not like Era's Adventure. It's not as in-depth as actual Mario Maker titles, but that's to be expected. It does what it needs to and gets the job done. Alright, Super Ultimaker, you get a pass, and don't worry, I won't tell Nintendo what you're doing over here. Alright, we're on a roll! One okay game. Can we keep that streak going? I didn't think so. This is Mole Kart! Like Mario Kart. You get it? This game was made by a Chinese company, Shanghai Shangren Information Technology. Or maybe the S is silent in Shangren. That way their initials can be shit. The game is a kart racer featuring characters that unfortunately exist. They're from the Mole Men series. What media have the Mole Men been in? They've been in Mole Kart. What else did you expect? It's a terrible kart racer with everything you'd imagine being wrong with it being wrong with it. It's slow and every lap feels like it takes a million years. You got items, cows, Spyro the Dragon, pretty much the essentials. The game was first released on the App Store in early 2012, though it was soon removed by Apple due to a copyright claim from Nintendo, due to gameplay trailers apparently featuring graphic assets that looked conspicuously identical to the Mario Kart series. Well, let's just check this out for ourselves. I did find the trailer, but it's got some super potato quality. But it's alright, we'll get through this together. Yeah, that's pretty bad. It definitely comes off very Mario Karty, which again, I get why. It's to trick the kids into thinking it's actually Mario Kart. Unfortunately, it's what shot them in the foot by exposing themselves. Because the core game doesn't really look or feel like Mario Kart. Sure, the stages kinda resemble Moo Moo Meadows, and these three items spinning around your character until you launch them do look like the Koopa shells. But overall, they could have gotten past it, claiming it as their own god-awful kart racer, but they didn't. Or maybe all of this was done on purpose to make Mole Kart an infamous name, because just a few years later, they released a sequel! Mole Kart 2 Evolution! The evolution of actually being able to stay up on the App Store. Not much has changed. Graphically, it's better. The same way being punched in one eye is better than being punched in both. I'm getting some serious Garfield Kart kind of vibes here. You know, it's blocky, still feels really slow, and I don't know how they did it, but the game controls worse than the first game! Turning is impossible! No car feels like this! It's like I'm controlling a canoe in a whitewater rapid lake. How do you mess up controls this bad when your first game was kind of okay? There's not much else to really comment on with the game. It's just a really bad kart racer. And get these instructions out of my face! But now we're left with one single mystery. This image. Crazy Miner. It gets worse the longer you stare at it. Clearly some bootleg knockoff of Wario World, trying its best to mimic the box art, but I can't find anything about this game. And I'm a bootleg guy, I've been able to find any garbage game that exists out there, through one way or another, but with Crazy Miner, nothing. All I get are a bunch of Minecraft knockoffs, and I'm not ready to jump back down that hole. So Crazy Miner, you crazy, ugly freak, you're lucky. And those were some bootleg Mario mobile games. Could have been worse. No, actually, now that I think about it, it couldn't have been worse. This was the worst! 
Well, at least that means it's only uphill from here. Let's see what's on the App Store today. Rouge the Bat Dating Simulator. I'm in.